TGIF, everybody. Hey, it's Shannon Jekyll Bates. Today is Friday, April the 5th of 2019. This is your weekend shop update, and we've got a few pieces to get through this morning. We're going to start with this great biggin. This is a custom man's. You can still see the, I think, you, yeah, there's the insignia right there. And this is a troller, obviously. It's a deep diving troller. Now, I have seen these for freshwater, but this is intended for inshore, offshore, deep water trolling, salt water. So, cool baits. And uh, I love getting to repaint the old ones. And it, actually, the man's does very well. So, intended for big game fish. This order has been sitting here for a while. We're waiting on a, a sweatshirt to complete this order, and it seems like they had to knit the sweatshirt, too. So uh, that is coming. So, Keith, this is this should be all going out um, tomorrow morning, Saturday. So this is that orange Imperial and a 1.5. It's Glow Toxic Green Eyes. Hog Snatcher. You guys saw this on Facebook. Fun pattern. No black was used on this at all. This is all the Wicked Detail Black Magenta. It's color 0075. So if you're looking for alternatives and you don't want to do real dark shading, because a lot of times what black will do is it'll make it look too dark. This is a very good natural shade. And also uh, there's a burnt umber if you want a greener tint to it, like if you're doing like an, an olive green orange. This has got blue on it, so I went with the uh, the black magenta because it's got obviously just a little bit of purple in it. But good craw pattern. Um, yep, love it. You know, I always, I never end up keeping these myself. I always sell it, so a lot of times people are like, "Well, let me see what you've got." I mean, I never have any inventory with me because it goes quick, folks. This is the hot tuna in a one point five. Another really cool, I just got a comment, I think it was today or yesterday, it was yesterday morning, I got a comment um, asking if I could show again how to do layer spraying with a dryer sheet or the Pellon Wonder Web. You can use either. This particular one I did with a dryer sheet, uh, but you don't want to use a new dryer sheet, folks. You want to keep that in the dryer for like four or five or six times because basically you want to get the scent off because when you heat set this you always want to heat set it with it wrapped still so that it doesn't transfer or smear as you're pulling your wraps off of your bait so that's my little tip for the day but yeah sure i'll be happy to show you that basically it's just like any other wrap you want to clamp it down as tight as you can without scratching your under layers and you want to heat set so the way this something like this would have gone on is that your basic colors so you do a white primer and then you do your colors and then you heat set it and uh, that would be your second heat set because the white primer has got to got to be heat set as well once your colors go on it can be random colors it can be splotched all over the place heat set that and then wrap it in your either Pellon wonder web or your dryer sheet Wrap it tight and then lightly mist your darkest color. Uh, I did use black on this because I really like the contrast, but you could have also used a really deep indigo blue, a very dark purple. Um, I've even seen people overspray red, which is a really cool thing. Not a lot of people, um, and you gotta you really have to make sure that it's sprayed well, but not oversprayed because that'll smear. Uh, but black is the most traditional to overspray on patterns if you have colors underneath. So, little jekyll tip for the day for you guys. I always try to include those in my shop updates so that it's not just you looking at stuff that I've done. Uh, I wanna be able to help you guys in the best way that I can. And that is through teaching and giving you guys tips. So, this is the Lemon Drop. It is in that, uh, that duo style pressing. Very cool, great bait. Um, one of my faves. It's a smaller presentation. They make a 120 SP and a 100 SP, and this pressing is from Dinger. Custom baits, ding this. Brian's little prop for the day. 
And I also had that in a glacier as well. I love the glacier pattern. That I it almost looks like ice, like an icicle hanging, getting ready to drop. Except it's a fish. I don't know what I'm saying. It's Friday morning. Yes, of course I've had coffee. You know, I'm really gonna have to start making more of these. I love this is just a bull shoals pumpkin seed. And it's one of the oldest patterns that I consistently have that's a top seller on the website. And it's just a really neat, uh, the customer asked for a silent on this, which I was happy to do. Um, I did a little bit of foiling underneath. So you're going to get that little crazy pop image underneath. If it sounds like I'm, it's because it's raining today. All the pollen's falling out of the sky. It's driving me crazy. Sorry about that, you guys. But this is just, it's a cool little pattern and it's very effective. So this is, this is one of my go-to 1.5s that I would throw just about anywhere. It's bright enough to where it's going to show up in stained water, but it's natural enough to where there are pumpkin seeds that look exactly, almost exactly like this. Um, so yeah, I would throw this in stained or clear water. These little guys, you guys have really been enjoying this particular color scheme with uh, the, the, the blue on the belly and that olive into almost a, almost a chartreuse, but this is more like a key lime color. And then just a little bit of red tip on the tail and the face. So there is that. Let's see, did I show you guys this yet? Yeah, I think it did. What else we have? Molten lava over here and a lipless. This is a half ounce. Good, good, uh, it's like a two tap, basically. Oops. And hard resin. A gummy fish. These are fun too. Great for stained water. Great this time of year. And it's also the same colors that would mimic crawfish. So lots of cool interpretations for this easy pattern and then we've got last but certainly not least we've got the calico crappies and a little john pressing and also was requested in a 1.5 dd ah, this will go seven uh, maybe seven feet seven eight feet somewhere in there it'll dig down pretty good and that is all the news that's fit to print for this morning I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. It's raining here today. Um, lots of fishing videos, and I definitely have a spray session coming up this weekend. Pretty excited about this one because I've had uh, one of my subscribers has requested that I do a basics challenge in only opaque colors and only like what would come with a starter set. So I think that that's a really good challenge to do um, if you're just starting out in airbrushing. So I'm going to do two baits, two baits on the spray session and make some cool patterns out of just your basic, your black, white, red, yellow, blue, green. Um, so pre and, and probably maybe some brown, but um, I might not even do brown. So we're just going to do some, some really cool patterns to see what we can come up with on the next spray session. Thanks to a subscriber shout out. So you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you on the water. Lots of fish catches coming up. Can't wait to show you guys. It has been a blast. And you know what? Let's go ahead and roll my favorite jig hookup from yesterday. Um, it was good, and I was, I was up on the point, and I had to kind of like scamper down and get it. So it was a good fish, nice fish. Enjoy. that bandito bug all day
Bandito, Bandito.